friends, I'm Natalia Levy and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I have paused filming during this uh, global coronavirus COVID-19 pandemic. We've been quite busy. I'm a co-owner of two family restaurants. So we have just been juggling so many different things and uh, I had to put my YouTube channel on pause, but it's been three, four months um, of this since middle of March and we are middle of June, so three months. Uh, and I'm kind of getting things organized and hope you are doing well and uh, I'm ready to come back and do this. So in our restaurants, we make pasta fresh in house. We have this really fancy Italian automatic pasta maker and every time I come, come there and I talk to the customers and I talk to our guests, everybody raves about the quality of our homemade pasta. And so I've been at home and you know, I can make pasta from scratch, but uh, I've been shopping online and I found through Williams and Sonoma this Philips automatic pasta maker and I figured, well, I just got this yesterday in the mail. So let's film this episode and open this up for you so you guys can see what this machine is all about. So we can together experience this. So this is a Philips automatic pasta maker. And that's what the box looks like. And it, it has tons of different attachments and I am so excited to look at this with you. So let's get started. All right, so let's open this up. I love that on the top cover, you can actually see all the different types of pasta that you can make. So I'm looking, um, there's egg and carrot juice and tomato sauce, buckwheat flour, red bean juice, spinach juice, squid ink, and wheat flour. I guess these are all the different types of pasta that you can make. And it also shows you the different attachments. So, there we go. So all of the different attachments are right nestled right on the top here. All right, we're gonna check in a minute which attachment is which. different attachments. Let's see what we have going on here. So we have the machine and it has a bunch of buttons on the top here. Our button, a flavored pasta, extraction and play pause. This, this thing comes off and there's a compartment there with the stirring attachment. I guess that's where all the mixing is happening for the automatic pasta machine. I'm looking at the picture over on the box, and this one is a lasagna. And this one is a penny. This one is a penny. This one is a pappardelle. I think, I feel like I'm, oh, no, not missing anything. This one is a tagliatelle. This one with the little flowers. Oh, that's what I didn't know what it was. This one is a fettuccine. Oh my gosh, fettuccine is delicious. I am excited. And then we have the thick spaghetti. We have the regular spaghetti attachment right there. And we have angel here. So these are all the different attachments. I'm super curious to see how this works. All right, so we also have this. Looks like a measuring cup of sorts. And these look like they could be some cleaning tools, potentially. And I imagine that this is how you cut off the pasta. So the instructions, so we have the user manual here that tells you all the different attachments, what they are, the assembling and cleaning. So you're supposed to clean the machine before use, remove the mixing chamber, lid, 
figure three, so we can do that. So, ah, okay, so here we go, guys. So there's a little lid here, so you, not, um, what would you call it? So you have to push, press on it to open this lid and remove it. Knobs it must be it must do something. Okay. Oh, okay. So if I loosen the knobs, what does that do? Okay. So we we'll loosen the knobs and look what happens. The whole front panel comes off. Okay. This is how. Oh, wow. Let me take the whole thing apart. This is pretty cool. And I'm guessing. This is my first time seeing this machine. This is how this thing pops right off. This is amazing. So what you can see is this little notch here and there's a little notch on the attachment. And I wonder if this is how it pops on. Like, does it pop this way? All right, I have been reading and I have been messing with this and I think that I must be one of those people that when I take something apart and I try to put it together and something is going to be missing. But check this out. So I've been playing around with this. And so these, so there's a notch here, okay? And then there's a notch on the attachment. So every attachment just has one notch. So from messing with it, it just snaps on, which is cool. And I'm hoping that I did it from the right direction. So it looks like this. We just rinse this thing off. I'm guessing. Okay. So there's a little square. So this gets set into right into the square. And then let's see if we can put this back together. I don't know if I'm doing anything. Everything right. <laughs> this may take me a while. There must be a way to do it without anybody getting hurt. I will figure it out and get back to you. <laughs> okay, so this is a process to be figured out. Okay, so this is where we got to. Um, we take this spinning thingy, we put it in here, and then we put it inside. And then what happens is that these two poles that stick out, they go into the center. Uh, openings, which is what I was struggling with because I was trying to put them, insert them into different spots. So now this is what we got. You see, we took it apart and we we'll put it back together. This is amazing. Yay. And then, oh, I see. Okay. And then what we do is we put this panel back on and we screw it back in. And this is how we do it. Yay. I'm so excited to figure this out. And the only other thing that I see here that we haven't gotten around to is this compartment. Right. Oh, this looks like just storage for extra pasta parchments. And you know what I just read? This machine is auto weighing. I am not sure what that quite means yet, but I am so excited to figure it out. Now who wants to test this baby out? I do, I do, I do. Be right back. Well, I have been reading all of these manuals. By the way, this pasta cooker comes with a recipe book, which conveniently tells us, this is really neat, different types of pasta that can come out of this machine. And I love it because you can do wheat pasta, wheat noodle, Durham pasta, udon noodle, ramen. Oh my God, I can make homemade ramen noodles. I am so excited. Um, dumplings and raviolis, and chickpea pasta, and buckwheat pasta, and rice pasta. Oh my God. And a lot of stuff can be made gluten-free, which is fun. And I think I'm gonna try it out. Okay, so we're reading the directions here. So we plug it in, let's see what happens. It be. Okay. Select the pasta type. So let us do the egg flavored. Yeah, no, the egg flavored. Okay. So you have to push this twice to make the selection. So this little oval indicates that we have, we're going to be making an egg pasta. We're going to remove the lid. 
I'm gonna wait until zero, zero displays on the screen. And now we're supposed to put flour in the chamber. The appliance automatically weighs and displays the amount of flour. All right, there goes nothing. Oh, interesting. So that's one what? I wonder what measurement this is in. So is it one? Oh, it's one cup. Ha! All right, so I am adding in flour and it tells me that it's supposed to weigh it automatically, but all I'm seeing is a cup measure. So I have no idea what that means. And for a chef who's used to accurate measurements, this is a little frustrating. So I am just gonna get to maybe two cups of flour. I don't know how this measures it. All right, so we'll just get to number two. Aha, uh -huh. now it gives me the weight. Okay, so for this recipe that I have, I'm supposed to have 250 grams of flour. So I'm gonna open this back up. Oh, no, I'm guessing that we have to add the liquid now. See, if this is confusing for me, you guys, I'm guessing it might be confusing for you, unless it's just me. All right, oh, okay, so, well, I'm not reading the directions well. When the lid is closed, the needed amount of liquid is displayed. So, okay, so this is what happens. We added two cups of flour, and now it tells us how much liquid that we need to add. All right, so I'm going to add some egg in here, and I'm gonna whisk it first, so I'm gonna pause for a second. All right, so, um, we're gonna start with adding the egg. <laughs> How is it supposed to go in? Just like that, time to push it through. Ah, there we go, I just used this little tool to push it through. Are you gonna tell me? Are you gonna weigh this? So on the first try of making pasta, we had a bit of a flood. <laughs> what a flood. What I didn't understand is that we had to measure the water. So it measures the flour, but it does not measure the water that we need to put in. All right, so we'll just do half the amount of flour. So we'll get it to one cup. See accent, okay. Flour everywhere, right? The best part of making pasta. And, and I am just using regular all-purpose flour for the sake of testing this out. Okay, that is one cup of flour. We're going to blow this chamber. I'm assuming it's gonna tell me how much liquid to add. Okay, so now we have to add 100 milliliters of liquid. I have egg that I'm add to this container and we're gonna see how many milliliters we have and we're gonna get it and I'm using just regular filtered smart water here and we're supposed to make it to 100 milliliters and we're gonna mix it and just mix it in the egg with water and that's supposed to be all the water that we need Okay, please don't fall out. I'm going to add this into the liquid container. Okay, and we're going to change the camera angle and press start. All right, now that we have shown you plenty of what not to do, this is my attempt three at making pasta, but with every attempt, we, we are figuring it out what we need to be doing. So, take three. We are putting the flour inside. And this time, I'm gonna go with a cup and a half. 
First time we did two cups, the second time we did one cup. And we're gonna do a cup and a half. Okay, and this is what we have learned. So that after you put the flour in, it measures and it tells you how many cups of flour that you have. So now I have 1.57 cups of flour. We put the cover on. So now the instruction tells you to measure out the liquid. I thought that you measure out the liquid and, uh, and you add it in immediately. But here's the deal. You measure out the liquid. So this shows me 150 milliliters. I have the egg. The egg goes in the measuring container. So my first mistake was that I thought that the machine would measure out the liquid as well. That was a mistake. My second mistake was to add the liquid without pushing the start button. That was another mistake. So now this is, that's why this is take three. So we're gonna press play. The machine is going. And now we're going to gently be adding the liquid. The egg is mixed with water and we're adding it in and it's mixing and nothing is leaking anywhere. All right, so this is a great start already, guys. All right, so <laughs> pasta. Take three. I just want to show this to you guys. So, so this was my attempt number two where I poured the liquid. <laughs> um, I poured the liquid before letting the, the uh, before starting the machine. So now what do we have? Fettuccine. Okay. Now this looks a lot better than what we have here. I just want to show you for comparison. Look how smooth this is compared to this. Okay, this is working, you guys. It only took me three tries to get it to go. All right, we are getting the last bits of pasta out of the machine. And I'm gonna cook it up and we'll see what it tastes like. All right, so I just boiled our fresh made pasta in a pot of salted water. It only took about three to four minutes. Just keep tasting it. I'm going to, oh my gosh, I can't wait to show this to you guys. Just toss it with a little bit of butter, like this. And this is gonna be delicious as it comes. Look at this, fresh homemade pasta made right in front of your eyes with a lot of mistakes. First time using this Philips automated pasta maker. I'm going to toss a little bit of basil and I cannot wait to try it. So just remember you guys, I'm a chef and it took me three times to get this right. If you make mistakes, just be goofy, laugh at yourself. It's totally fine. And uh, I would give yourself, the first time you're making it, I would give yourself a couple hours. Mm. Oh my gosh, this is so delicious. I'm gonna eat this bowl. I might share with some people that are around the house. Um, I invite you to experiment in your kitchen, cook more, and live a deliciously healthy life. Bye for now.